feel um yeah, yeah. like me I'm feel, no. Feel, feel, no 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 yeah I feel, feel um, Ipino <laughs> half Philippines <laughs> half Filipino <laughs> Okay, let's be serious, guys. How? Be... How serious? <laughs> she's a she's a Phil, uh, like yeah. Sam. No, I know. She's yes, an Italian American. Like me, Filipino Italian. Like me, yeah. I'm half Filipino Italian like American. Me, I'm half half it's Spanish, half bread. Like that. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh. Her father is uh, Italian American. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us the story. Bacon pancakes. Make <laughs> 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 Okay, hi. Hi. Hey, it's the Hawk Ranch. <laughs> Bruce, she was um, actually bullied in the states. Like pe yes. people were assuming what her race was. They were saying that maybe you're Mexican, maybe you're sp Spanish because so it's of her bad. appearance. But here in the Philippines, she's actually treated much better instead of the states. Like, because she's a foreigner. Yeah, she's yeah. pale. Really. They're thinking about what nationality does she has. But here in the Philippines, when you're white, automatic you're automatically you're... American. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, Malang dela. We're same. No? It's actually it actually Bahay? shows in in the part Ay, where na, she na. she went to um, Forbes her Park. friend. Yes, invited yes. her to Forbes Work. Park, and her she wasn't from any high family, but. High class, high not high family, high class family. Oh my god. <laughs> she wasn't from high, family, high, high, high class family but but because she 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 she's a foreigner. Yeah. People automatically thought that hey, this person must be rich and she was let in the party even if she she wasn't really part of of the clique but, yeah. of the people. Um Let's talk about why is the title like that. Yeah, that's actually <laughs> under my invisible so there, umbrella. Yes. So there's liter uh, literally, but not girls under umbrella. Go oh, capture them. <laughs> there, over there. No, 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 here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> not like that. Not like that. Under. My it's figurative. Yes. It has a figurative meaning. But a literal meaning. Read the story. It actually started with um, the main character talking about her experience yeah. um, being offered an umbrella. Yes. And on her life here in the Philippines, it's like she always has an invisible umbrella because um, normal Filipinos treat other Filipinos like, um, for example, if she was a Filipino and she went out of the school, no one would offer her an umbrella but because she was a foreigner other people offered her an umbrella and because she looks pretty yeah yes that i it goes the same for all her Another experiences umbrella. as a foreigner over here <laughs> yeah yes. Yes. about the story under, under my invisible, invisible umbrella by Laurel Fantauzo. Yes. <laughs> the author at the the story was actually about, about the author. Story. Yes, her story and she was a she was born in Southern California. And she's a storyteller and a college lecturer. And her mother 
is a Filipino, Filipina, and the, his, he, ah, her, her father, her father is a uh, Italian, Indian American, Italian and half American, which made, which make her Philan. Philan. Yes. 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 The girl. The girl. The girl. In the story, <laughs> she doesn't have a name. Yes. So <laughs> let's call her Laurel since it's a true to life story. Not the adobo. <laughs> so Yung the character, uh, she took advantage. She kind of took advantage of her skin privilege and how she skin was treated. So she's kind of she's used, used to it. it. And she got used yes. to it. And it's also a burden for her because even if she's a foreigner, she's treated like the IP Wait, always. Very important but person. when it comes to money, they think that, or the Filipinos she's, think that they have this so thinking rich. that she's every so American that, or Ameri Americano, American, <laughs> Americano. <laughs> We see that they have so much, so much of this. Yes. No, not the, not, not, not the, this. <laughs> <laughs> but money. actually the, the money. Money. Yes. money, money, money. So being Phil Al or being a foreigner has some disadvantages as well. Yes. Just yeah. like in the story, um, the the Yuhan tax, the yeah. cab, the cab driver. Um, said that extra charge, ma'am, and they, they think uh, it's not it's not fair. Yes. For I think them. Uh, most foreigners here are treated like this as well. Yes. Especially in the airport. Yes. <laughs> no, and taking advantage. Yes. Yes. Taking advantage. That's the way. <laughs> and we actually develop this kind of mentality because of the past experiences of us Filipinos like um when we were colonized, when we were colonized by the other, Amer Americans, other races like the Spanish. Japanese the Spanish we we developed the mentality the mentality that they will always be higher than us so we will so respect. we gave them respect they we, we give them given much to, respect than our fellow Filipinos yes. and also we all know that the the rate of peso in when it's converted to dollars <laughs> <laughs> when it's converted to dollars it's not that high but when dollars is converted to peso it has a huge amount i think the filipino should treat the banyagas as normal people especially uh, they might use it as an advantage advantage to to do something that would make them think that they're they're higher. Yes. And now let's talk about the title. The title is Under My Invisible Umbrella. The umbrella actually symbolizes the the privilege given to, to the foreigners here in, in our country. Um the lead character Laurel. Laurel she always feels like she has an invisible umbrella with her because because um, other Filipinos always treat her with with more respect than other Filipinos, even if she's she's actually same with them. <laughs> but but the umbrella is actually also a burden for her because even if she she can use the the umbrella as a privilege to be to for example get into parties she isn't invited in. It also is a burden to her because us Filipinos have this um, racial stereotype that all for foreigners here in our country are much richer than than us. So, so um, they have more tax to pay than us normal Filipinos. They don't know the prices that we have here in our mm. country. So that, so that's why they make it double, double the price. <laughs> Bay, ah, would you recommend the story to other people? Yes. Why? Right. <laughs> it's right in just to read the story 
under my invisible, invisible umbrella because we should know uh, we should treat people equally even though they are foreigner because we are created equal by God. And this story is really an eye-opener for us because of the mindset that Filipinos and we were shook. Shook. <laughs> but because the the protagonist was the author. I wasn't expecting that the title will such have a deep, deep meaning. Deep meaning. <laughs> deep meaning. So would you recommend <laughs> you would you recommend yes, yes. you yes yes of course yes, definitely. and we have P five yes <laughs> it is i know uh, stem for approved insert jeffrey stars <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Michelle <laughs> <King>. <laughs> 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 <laughs>